There may be no other concept that captures the imagination more than the idea of time travel, the ability to travel to any point in the past or future. What would you travel through time to see? You could go back and meet yourself at an earlier age, or go forward and see how you look in the future. It is these possibilities that have made time travel the subject of so many dreams and stories. Lots of us think we know what time is, but it is hard to define. You cannot literally see or touch time, but you can see its effects in everything around us. Our bodies age, buildings crumble, trees grow. Our lives are often dictated by what time we need to be somewhere. Time is also described as being the fourth dimension to our universe. The other three dimensions are of space, including up, down, left, right, and forwards and backwards. Time cannot exist without space, and likewise, space cannot exist without time. The relationship of space and time is called the space-time continuum. This means that any event in the universe has to involve both space and time. Most people think that time travel is impossible, but believe it or not, there is no law of physics preventing time travel. It was thought that time was fixed and never deviated, but it's actually more abstract. Time can in fact be twisted, turned, and even looped into a pretzel. This allows for time travel. The speed of light is about 300,000 meters per second, and Einstein's theory states that as an object nears the speed of light, time slows down. At the speed of light, time stops. To understand this, imagine two twins. One is sent away in a spaceship traveling at almost the speed of light, while the other stays on Earth. If the boy on Earth could check his sister's watch, he would find that it was ticking much slower than his own. When the girl returned from space, her brother would have felt 80 years go by, while she has only felt 40 years go by, because time was moving a lot slower for her. The twins would look at each other, one old and one young. The twin who went to space has essentially travelled 40 years ahead in time. The only problem with this is that you must be travelling near the speed of light to make any effect, and the fastest human spaceship travels at only a tiny fraction of the speed. To get near the speed of light, we would need to harness the energy of a star. Another theory of time travel was proposed by physicist Ron Millat. He claims to have figured out how to make a machine that uses a circulating beam of light to twist space, and because space and time are connected, his machine twists time. This is a model of his machine. The real machine will be about the width of a human hair and with about 10,000 lasers. The lasers work together to twist the space-time. Although this machine won't be able to send humans back in time, they're planning to use it to send tiny particles or information back in time. Imagine being able to use it in the future to send back the cure for AIDS or cancer. The idea of time travel creates many paradoxes. One famous one is the grandfather's paradox, where if you were to go back in time and kill your grandfather, how could you have ever been born to go back in time and kill him? Many mathematicians believe that the answer to this is that there are an infinite number of parallel universes, and every time you make a decision, you create a new universe that was the same up until the point you made that decision. So if you were to go back in time and kill your grandfather, you would just create another universe without you in its future. Maybe in outer space, aliens have perfected time travel, or maybe our descendants have harnessed the energy of a star. So if someone knocks on your door claiming to be your great 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 grandchild, don't slam the door, because maybe your descendant, a thousand years into the future, got into a time machine to visit their ancestor.